Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first video, hi, I'm Elena, and this is The Organized Money, where we talk about organizing your life, your work, and your money. In today's video, we are diving into daily planning. I wanted to talk about how I organize my daily planner and how I use it in relation to my big Franken planner. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing is my Franken planner. So this is my big Franken planner that I use on a consistent basis to help me organize my life. If you flip it open, I do have a bunch of different tabs in here and I probably will do an updated video on this planner setup because I have made a couple of changes to it since the last video that I have done in preparation for 2022. But when you flip it open to my schedule section, this is where I will plan out my week. So I plan out my week using an hourly planner and I will decide what I'm going to do that week, the big events that are happening, and I will plan out everything that's going to happen on a particular day. So this is the main planner that I will use on a consistent basis, but every now and then, usually when two things happen, I will pull over my daily planner. The first reason I may use my daily planner is I have a super busy day. Whenever I have a super busy day, I have a lot going on and I just need more space than the space that's allotted in my main planner, I will come into this planner. This planner helps me to plan out my entire day and to break down even more detail than what I have in here. The second reason I may use my daily planner is I have planned out my day, I have scheduled it out, but it's not going to go as planned. So since I am looking at my schedule for the entire week, I may have written down some things that I am expecting to happen on a Thursday or a Friday and it's Tuesday. Well, when Thursday comes around, this may change drastically. And if I feel like there's a bunch of different changes that's going to happen at the beginning of a day, I will usually pull out my daily planner so I can make those changes and basically replan my day. So those are the two main reasons reasons why I might use my daily planner. Now let's get into how it's organized and how I set it up to stay on top of my day. So this is my classic size daily planner. I did set this planner up a couple of videos ago when it was going to be my personal planner, but I did make some changes to it. I moved out my home and family planning and put it back into my big planner just because I prefer to keep all of my main planners in the big size but I did keep my daily planning as a classic size. So when you open it up, I do have the daily planner all four months within here. I added the tab for the month of December and I did list out a couple of things that's coming up for this month, but I believe that I am mainly going to use this front section, this monthly section as a future planning section. So I did the month of December this month, even though that is the current month, but the next one that I do will be the month of February. And that's because I already have in my main planner the current month and I felt like it was redundant to put the events on here and on my main planner, but it is a great way for me to plan future dated things. So the next tab, I'm going to put the month of February because I will have the month of January already in my main planner, in my Franken planner, but I won't have a section for February. So I will do February on this monthly spread and then I will add all of my January dailies within the days. So I feel like that would be a better use of this monthly spread instead of trying to keep it for the month of January when I already have that within my catch-all planner. And I usually will carry around this one and my main planner on a daily basis. I have been carrying them both around. So since that's the case, I will have access to a future data calendar and also my main planner. So now let's talk about how I am currently using using the daily planner. So as I stated before, the very first reason I will use this planner is if I have a super busy day. There are days where I have a super busy day and I just need to kind of brain dump, get it out of my head and write everything down. So even though I have my main planner, I have my catch-all planner, I can look at an overview 
of the day, I may want to write down additional steps or additional things that I need to complete. Now, this doesn't happen every single day because as you can see, I have December 11th, I have the 12th, the 13th, but then it skips to the 17th, which means that the other days in between weren't that bad. And it looks like I didn't even really need it on the 13th. I thought I would, but I didn't because it's not really filled out that much here. But I do like having access to this planner if I feel like I just need to brain dump and get things out because many times writing things out and just brain dumping it just helps me to feel more clarity and I feel way more productive and ready to take on my day. So the first thing that I'll do is add my top three. So sometimes these top three is directly from my other planner and I am just basically copying them over and then other times I have changed my top three. So if something has switched overall for my day then I may change these top three altogether and revamp what my day is going to look like. So as as I'm reviewing my schedule planner or my weekly planner I will relook and see what's going on and then I will add my top three here the next thing that I'll do is add the additional details so many times when I am looking at my planner I will just have the overview written out here I may have that I need to look at my planners or I need to film but I don't have a lot of details of the different things that I need to do just because I don't have a lot of space but when it comes down to my daily planner, I do have much more space to write down more information. For instance, I was filming this video and I wanted to write down the chapters so that I could add them to my description section within the video. So I would not have this type of space within my regular planner, but I do have it on my daily planner. So I am able to add all of the chapters and additional notes that I need to do here and I also added some additional order notes down here as well and so these are just additional things that I am not able to add within my actual planner sometimes I do need to look back on these but a lot of times I don't but I do like having them organized in here just in case I ever do need to flip back I'm able to easily see what was going on on a particular day now in addition to adding all of the details that I need another thing that I am able to do is to categorize my different things that I need to do so as you can see on these two days I did decide to color code what I needed to do for my business for my personal and for my family I did the same thing over here except instead of breaking it down into sections since I had so many things I just listed them all out and put the highlighter right in front of it so that I know what category it falls under but categorizing it does help me to stay on top of what I need to do under each category of my life. The majority of the time when I am using this sheet, I am using it for business purposes. So as you can see, if I have a lot going on, usually it is related to my business. But sometimes if I am working on a personal project, like when we were talking about my home decluttering process, I'm decluttering my closet, that's going to happen on the 26th. When that does happen, I could use a sheet like this to break down even further the things that I needed to do on that particular day. So these sheets just serve as a purpose of me being able to kind of get out all of the information that's in my head, put it on paper, break it down in detail, and I have a space where I can kind of clear my mind that is separate and apart from my actual planner. Color coding is a great way to be able to detail all of this information and to have it in one spot. And as I am completing these things, I am still using my red pen. As you guys know, I like to write in black. I will write everything out in black, but I will check it off in red. The reason I use red is because it just highlights the other color to me and it really, really will show me that I have completed an item. I felt like when I was checking off things in black, everything was kind of blending together and I couldn't really see the checks from the X's. So changing the color just really works for me. So I will check it off as I go or I will put an X next to it to let myself know that I did not complete it. But I love using my red pens to do this and so this is super helpful throughout the course of my day. So within this planner, like I said, I do have four months 
behind these four months. I do also still have a brainstorming section. If you didn't see my video on my brainstorming notebook, I will link it above, but this section serves exactly the same way that my brainstorming notebook did. It is a spot where I can just basically write out anything that's going on. I was writing out chapters, writing out notes from videos, but this will serve as a space where I am just basically able to brain dump and to clear my head. It won't be neat, it won't have stickers, it's just a space for pages that I can discard later. So this is for daily notes and anything that comes up daily, just like my brainstorming notebook did for me. And then I have also the daily sections where I can jot down anything that's going on throughout the course of my day if I have a super busy day or if I need to change up my day and things are going sideways and I need to make adjustments as I go. So guys, this is how I organize my daily planner. You may or may not need a daily planner. It just really depends on how busy your life is and how redundant it is. I know sometimes things will come up, throw a wrench in the plants, and you're trying to scramble and figure out how you're still going to use your planner. So hopefully this video will help you figure out how you can switch things up, use a daily planner if your plans are completely thrown off and you need to replan your day. I will say this, if I do need to replan my day, this process takes me about five to 10 minutes. I am basically doing this in the morning with my coffee. I will take out this daily planner. I will compare it to my main planner and then I will just replan. But let me know in the comments below if you use a daily planner, how do you use yours? Are you using yours the same two ways that I use mine? Please let me know. I would love to hear from you. And if you want more details on how to organize your life, make sure that you check out my new membership called The Organized You. The Organized You is a monthly membership where we have live weekly classes, we have a book club, you have access to all of my planner downloads, and you are able to connect with a whole bunch of other people who are looking to get organized just like you. If you want more information about it, make sure that you check out the description box below, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Until then, keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye guys.